This is WDSU 6. It's 5 o'clock, New Orleans. Good evening. I'm Terry Wood. And I'm Beverly Carr, and this is 5 o'clock New Orleans. Tonight, our cover story looks at a problem common to every woman who works outside and has to leave her kids in. It's called guilt, and you're not the only one dealing with it. Have you ever wondered how a teenager copes with the attention and stardom his athletic ability brings? We'll follow one young man on his way to college sign up. But first, the news. Can the city order a Nazi rate cut or not? That decision, which would affect how much you pay for power, is in federal court tonight. Nopsy wants a judge to decide whether the city was correct in ordering the utility to trim $135 million from future rate increases. Nopsy and the city council have been battling for years over rate increases for the $4 billion Grand Gulf nuclear plant. If a member of the Orleans Parish School Board moves out of the school district, should he still be allowed to sit on the board? What if he has moved to Virginia? John Robert, who was board president two years ago, now lives in Virginia, but comes back to New Orleans several times a month to attend board meetings and to conduct business. Other board members have asked him to resign, but Robert says he'll only do that on his terms. The bribery conviction of former Congressman Richard Tonry has been thrown out. Federal appeals court today overturned Tonry's conviction on a legal technicality. The 52-year-old lawyer was convicted in 1986 on three bribery counts and had been sentenced to five years in jail. The Republican National Convention could present the New Orleans area with a windfall of jobs and opportunities. Many executives from Fortune 500 companies will be special guests at the convention. And New Orleans Council, Councilman uh, Peggy Wilson and several dozen local business leaders hope to use the convention as a backdrop to selling out-of-town executives on the advantages of locating in Louisiana. There will be a new look on the Jefferson Parish Economic Development Board soon. However, some people aren't happy with the way it will happen. The Jefferson Parish Council voted to increase the board membership from 9 to 11 with the two new posts going to a black and a woman. Previously, the board had been all-white males. The chancellors of three area black colleges will select three finalists to fill the post, and that has some people upset. I resent having a member chosen or recommended to you by these universities. I think that we as black people in this community are capable of submitting names to you ourselves. But Jeff Council Chairman Bob Evans promises the selection will be fair and representative of the black community. You know, when women work and leave their kids at home, they suffer a common affliction. Sometimes guilt becomes too much a part of their lives. That story is coming up. In my saying things to him, somehow that got across. And if the message from me is, you know, it's not quite right to go to work, he's going to pick up on that and he's going to say, yeah, you're right. It's not quite right that you go to work. Do you know why your mom switched to Florida Gold Orange Juice? Because, because it's squeezed from just Valencia oranges. The other brands blend all kinds of oranges. You know why Florida Gold uses just Valencias? Because they're, because the, they're the best tasting, most expensive juice oranges you can buy. But you didn't know that. I get a lot out of these little father-daughter chats. Florida Gold brand orange juice. It's not a blend of all kinds of oranges. It's pure Valencia. When the real superstore came to New Orleans, other stores were shocked. The real superstore's prices weren't just cheap. They were cheaper than Schwegman on advertised grocery prices and thousands of unadvertised prices. And now the others realize what's even worse than a real superstore in town is two real superstores. Yes, it's a new real superstore for the West Bank. Bigger, better, and still cheaper than Schwegman. East Jefferson General Hospital's care unit is providing Care Cab, a free taxi service for individuals too intoxicated to drive. The service is available throughout Mardi Gras to Orleans and East Jefferson residents only, and riders will only be taken to a residence. More than one person may ride in a cab, but they must be dropped off at the same place. These services are available 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. Friday, February 12th through Wednesday, February 17th. Any person may call for a Care Cab from a public place by dialing 454-4599.
This is Casey Jones, coach of the Boston Celtics. We have a Hyundai in our family. I recommend one to you. It's a great car at a great price. For a great deal, come see my friends at LeBlanc Hyundai. And right now, you can buy a brand new Hyundai for only $99 a month. Yes, for payments as low as $99 a month, you can own a brand new Hyundai. And that's a purchase, not a lease. And if we make a deal, we'll pay off your trade no matter how much you owe. For a sure shot, score with LeBlanc Hyundai. Veterans Boulevard near David Drive. You know, there are 38 million mothers in this country who work outside the home, and you can pretty much bet that most, if not all, feel some guilt in some way. In our cover story tonight, a look at the special problems moms face in leaving their kids with a sitter or in a daycare while trying to overcome the notion that guilt becomes us. He has been away from me for like 12 hours, and it's not, you can't say, <laughs> Adam, go to bed, or Adam, do this. Bridget Johnson is 24 years old, working full-time at Tulane, and a mom. That was the worst semester of my life. All of me you better not Dr. Susan Glade also works full-time, a psychiatrist with her own practice. She is married and has two children, two-year-old Len and Josh, who is six. Each has to deal with the guilt of leaving her children to work outside the home. They handle it differently, but they are not alone. Every working mother is going to feel guilty. If that mother says she has never felt guilty, she's either in full denial or she's lying. A lot of us are programmed not to be angry with our kids, but we are. Just because they take up a lot of time and a lot of responsibility and so does the job and so does having to um, take care of the house and, and take care of the family. Women work for different reasons, some to survive, to support the family, others because they want their kids to have what they didn't. Still others work for the sheer joy of it, for self-fulfillment. When a woman is working to provide a home or a better life for her kids, should she feel guilty about leaving them to go to work? In many cases, those feelings are rooted in the past. A lot of women also were taught by their own mothers, I think a lot of Southern women, we're taught by their own mothers that uh, a woman's place is really in the home. And if you work, you do it because you have to. Think it's all out? Bridget and Adam Michael are alone. There's no man in the house to help, but they have a special sharing relationship that's helping Adam grow and Bridget cope. There's no money for an after-school babysitter, so Bridget relies on and feels lucky to have the Audubon Montessori School. Teachers keep Adam busy and happy till mom gets off work. I check my workbook. I think that is so wonderful. I really do. Josh, which one do you want? I want the other green piece. What you want to do is come home and relax and have a little time yourself. And But you've been away all day, and they want to be with you. Since the Glades have their hands full at work, Len's a physician, they decided full-time housekeeping and child care was one solution to the guilt problem. Then the time Susan does get to spend with the boys is more fulfilling, but still the kids have questions. Joshua used to ask me why I go to work, and the, the response would be for m and m that was when he was about three or four, and that's what he could relate to was m and m money. I'm so proud that my mom is a teacher, but gosh, I wish she were home for me more. In the same breath. We spend time together doing things together. He'll ask me, well, what did you do? Did you have fun? He'll inspect. Did you go on a date? That's why I say I think he's five going up 25. <laughs> And tomorrow night, we'll talk about how to get rid of some of that guilt. It's a complex problem. Does some of that guilt go away, Bev, uh, say when the children are of school age and then spending most of the time in school? S some of it does. The moms seem to grow up with the kids, and they feel a little less guilty leaving them home when they're older and able to take care of themselves. But when they're young, it is a problem. And it's surprising. Not much has been written on it. It's a relatively new topic we're no, finding out. Look forward to your report tomorrow night. All right. Well, uh, children of alcoholics are being targeted with a new education campaign that was announced today. The National Association of Children of Alcoholics launched a program using comic book heroes such as Spider-Man and the Hulk to let children know they can get help when dealing with an alcoholic parent. Also targeted are adults working in elementary schools. The program is designed to help them recognize a child that needs help and how to steer that child to the proper help. Sounds like a good program. Mm -hmm. Up next, Dan Milham will tell us whether or not we need to bring a jacket to tonight's parades. <laughs>
And we'll also tell you how you can keep up with the Joneses, uh, and it can sometimes be more hazardous to what's inside your wallet than you think. Family on a budget isn't always easy. That's why I shop for great values like these. John Morell Franks are only 69 cents from your associated food store. A 32 ounce squeeze bottle of Hunt's ketchup is only 99 cents. A 13 ounce bag of bonus blend coffee is only $1.69. And a quart jar of blue plate mayonnaise is just 99 cents. Associated food stores are best to you. You know, when a friend of ours suggested I join AARP, the American Association of Retired Persons, I was surprised. I'm not retired. Far from it. Then she told me 20 million people, both retired and working, belong to AARP. It's for anyone over 50. A $5 membership fee brings me free information on Social Security and pre-retirement planning, savings on travel and prescription drugs. I also get Modern Maturity, one of the most widely read magazines in America. Best of all, I'm part of one of the most vital voices in America, a voice government really listens to on important issues like pensions and Medicare. You can join AARP today by calling their toll-free number. They'll send you a complete information kit, including news about AARP's group health insurance. Once you've paid your $5, you'll receive a membership card. Use it to get discounts on hotel and car rentals. You'll also receive a monthly news bulletin. Don't wait. Call for your free information kit right now. You owe it to yourself to join the 20 million other AARP members who are getting the most out of life. Come join the people of AARP. My husband wanted all the therapeutic benefits of a waterbed, but I didn't want to give up my bedroom furniture to get them. Then Superior Waterbed showed me the Soma. Soma's revolutionary new design includes individual tubes of water to achieve the firmness you desire. Factory authorized prices as low as $269. Plus, if you buy the Soma now, you'll receive the state-of-the-art color TV or the Sony Watchman TV absolutely free. Hurry, quantities are limited. You'll sleep like a baby on your new superior waterbed. All right, now we're wondering about the parade weather, but we've still got a little history lesson to talk about first. Right. You have probably heard many times about the varying forms of geographic and meteorological disaster that can strike California. Yes. And this is an important anniversary for them because it was on this day in 1978 that a wall of water did $50 million worth of damage at a little place called Hidden Springs in Southern California. It was one of those episodes of rain and heavy mudslides to begin with, and as if that wasn't enough, the Pacific decided to come ashore. Thirteen people drowned on that day. Fifty million dollars worth of damage done. Not, not a happy, but a nevertheless important anniversary for them. Here's a look at, we'll call it the sneezometer, since it's not a graph, but it is a look at the, uh, what's in the air out there. The pollutant standard index is still in the good range at 21. The mold spores are the only thing showing up. Uh, 1120 particles per cubic meter, and it's all cladosporium. Our skies have looked quite good today, better than I thought they would. They continue to show us fair skies. 61 at Moisant, 61 here at the Quarter, and at Slidell as well, and 62 at Audubon. The humidity at 50%, wind out of the south at 12 miles an hour. It's been variable, but mainly out of the south, and will likely stay out of the south overnight tonight. That should keep things a little... Well, sort of on the mild side, the barometric pressure is looking on the uh, high side at 30.13 because we're still kind of cool. A cool evening, I think a jacket will be in order with 55 degrees, but certainly not biting cold by any means. Wind out of the southeast, 5 to 10. A couple of showers, I got to tell you, a couple of showers have shown up in our area. They're down around Morgan City, between here and Morgan City. Just one or two showers. The chance of rain, I think, for the parades this evening is there, but ever so slight. If I had to bet, and I don't, but if I had to, I'd say you're not going to get any rain on you at the parades tonight. Continued cool through the morning hours just before sunrise, the low 40 degrees, with the wind still coming at you out of the southeast. Now, tomorrow, i got to believe there's a chance of rain with the approach of a little cold front. Chance of rain, 50-50, but still a chance there during the day. Maybe not parade time, but during the day, with the wind shifting from southeast in the morning hours to sometime during midday becoming northerly. That chance of rain again right through the daytime. Not necessarily parade time, but through the day. A high tomorrow, uh, maybe a little bit cooler than today. We reached the 60s today, probably staying in the 50s tomorrow. Maybe some cooling, dropping temperatures during the afternoon, and cold, noticeably cold tomorrow night and Friday. Beverly, we're going to need the jackets on the weekend. 